targeting tourists to help save dogs. That's what canine lovers on Kauai are doing to avoid euthanizing those animals. It's a story our partners at Civil Beat have been working on. Organizers say it's working thanks to an airline that's helping out. KITV Force Kenny Choi has the story, all new at 6. When Brandy Varvel joined the Kauai Humane Society last August, she turned to tourists to help save dogs. Some people plan it and some don't. Um, they come in, they meet an animal, they fall in love, and you know maybe they're here for a week or two. They come and visit the animal every single day, and by the end of their trip, they decide they'd like to adopt. But finding an affordable way to ship them back proved to be a hurdle. That's why Varvel partnered with Alaska Airlines. When an animal travels with a passenger, they are considered checked um, oversized baggage, and so they qualify for a flat $100 fee, no matter the size or weight of the dog. Civilbeat.com traveled to Kauai and photographed these dogs. Farvel believes Kauai's hunting culture is partly to blame for the influx at the shelter. During the hunt, the dogs are off leash, and so during the hunt, they may lose one or two of the dogs. We had a lot of Airedale mixes, hound mixes, and Whitbit mixes. Those are not common in mainland shelters, but they're common here because we have a large hunting community. Since December, the Kauai Humane Society has sent 75 dogs back to the mainland for adoption. They even have a map of where the dogs are now as a reminder of the work they're doing. To walk back in the shelter and actually see empty cages. Um, that didn't happen the first five months I was here. We never had empty cages. We were always at capacity and always struggling to get by. Kenny Choi, KITV4 News.